If you don't set yourself some goals on the guitar, you're going to end up getting nowhere. That's what I did for far too many years of my playing and I want to help you avoid that. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video and be sure to watch until the end. I'm going to tell you how you can enter to get one of these cool Fingerstyle Blues Roots DVDs. This is a lesson, of course, that uh, I did with True Fire. And uh, so I've given away five of these. Be sure to watch out to the end of this video and I'll tell you how you can get your hands on that. Let's get right into today's lesson. Hey, I'm John with the Blues Guitar Institute, and this is your Tuesday Blues, where we take cool acoustic blues concepts, we break them down into bite-sized chunks, and then we help you get it into your playing as fast as possible. But today, we're actually going to put the guitar aside, and we're going to focus more on a philosophy and a mindset uh, rather than technique, theory, things like that. And the mindset that I'm talking about is goal setting. Uh, this is something that separates folks who just kind of meander, noodle, and don't get a lot out of their practice time on the guitar from folks that really work toward a goal and they accomplish it. And at the end of the day, they've improved and they know they've improved. And I want to be in that latter category. Now, I'm a goal setter by nature. I'm filming this just before New Year's 2018. And this time of year, I always put my uh, goal setting routine into practice. And that's what I'm doing with guitar and I want to share it with you. First, let me tell you just how important this is. Now, I've been playing guitar nearly every day for a long time now. Um, but there was a period of years where I just let life get in the way, get busy. And I picked up the guitar, but I didn't really have any goals. I, I just kind of aimlessly wandered around the fretboard. And that happened for far too long. I mean, we're talking years here. And I did not grow as a guitarist. And now I wish I had that time back. I wish I had the, the potential that really was sitting in that chunk of years that I did not tap. So I, the thing that I can do now is set myself up to not fall into that trap and uh, hopefully keep you from falling into that trap as well. And the best way that I know how to do that is to set some clear targets for what I want to accomplish on the guitar. So let's talk about what makes a good goal. And you probably have heard of SMART goals. These are specific goals, measurable, achievable, um, relevant, and um, relevant? That's not right. Um, realistic. There we go. They're realistic and they're time-based. And this sounds kind of corny, kind of nerdy. I get it. But that really means a lot. Like you, if you want to set a goal, you've got to know what it is that you're setting. So have a clear goal in mind. Something like, I want to play Eric Clapton's Unplugged album note for note. That's a great goal, but you can do better than that by, uh, and that's measurable. It's specific, it's measurable, but you can do better than that by um, making it time-based. You could say, I want to do that by Christmas um, of 2018. You could even do better than that, and this isn't necessarily contained within that smart goal sort of theory. Add some stakes to it. Say, I wanted to um, play Eric Clapton's Unplugged note for note at a Christmas party for my friends. So there's some built-in like stakes there. You want to make sure that you're going to get this right. You have to do it. You're going to do it. And you got to do it to a level that you can play it in front of your friends. And let's face it, anybody that's going to come over and listen to you play note for note the songs on this album, those are good people, man. Now to highlight one point sort of embedded in there is that this needs to be achievable. It needs to be realistic. This needs to be something that you know is appropriate for your level as a guitar player. So playing unplugged note for note might be something that's really good for someone who plays a lot of blues that's really familiar with it. And it's kind of a seasoned picker. That might be a terrible goal for a brand new beginner because you're just going to set yourself up for failure and frustration if you've never even strung up a guitar before and you want to tackle complicated material. All right, one final tip about goal setting before we talk about the giveaway and how you can get your hands on one of five free copies of Fingerstyle Blues Roots, and that is to write down your goal. Study after study has shown that folks who write down their goals have a much higher probability of actually achieving them. Now, I'm not sure exactly what does it, what in our brains, but for me, it's committing that idea to paper or even just typing it out on your computer or something like that, but, but putting it in some form 
that lasts, you know, some medium. I use Evernote. I've got a list going with all of my goals in different areas of my life. And of course, my guitar goals there. And I like having it there because I've got it on my phone. I've got it on my laptop, all that stuff. And I can flip through and see my goals all through the year. And I can kind of think how I'm doing, you know, to check myself against those goals. But again, write them down. That's very important. So I hope some of this stuff is really helpful. Again, you know, we didn't play a note here, but this is super important. And this is a great time of year to actually think about what you want to get out of your guitar over the next year. You don't want to be one of those aimless noodlers like I was for so long. And it really pains me to think about those lost years of development. And I don't want you to fall into that. So take some time, think about the goal that you want to accomplish, and let me know in the comments below this video what your number one guitar goal for 2018 is going to be. All right, let's get to the giveaway. All right, guys, I am super excited to tell you about this. This is upside down. This is Fingerstyle Blues Roots. This is my new course that came out in a collaboration, Blues Guitar Institute and True Fire. And this is all about cool core acoustic blues concepts. We cover a lot of finger picking fundamental stuff in here. I give you some exercises, things that will really help you uh, reach that goal of playing some cool finger style acoustic blues. And we really reach deep into the roots of the blues. And then we also put some new spins on things as well. So I really want you to have a copy of this. So let's talk about how you can enter to get one of these five free copies. There are three ways to enter. You can go to bluesguitarinstitute.com slash roots and you'll see the entry form. Now all you have to do is hit subscribe to the YouTube channel. That'll enter you to win and you can get additional entries if you go to the Facebook page and click like or if you watch a video that I've got linked up there. And in fact, that's a little secret for you. If you want to have multiple entries, do all those things, but then come back and watch that video once a day, every day, and you can get a daily entry for that. So multiple ways to earn uh, some points to get entered into the drawing for these, one of these five copies of Fingerstyle Blues Roots. This contest ends on January the 8th. That's a Monday. So I'll announce the winners next Tuesday blues. And I hope that you're one of the five. And again, you can enter by going to bluesguitarinstitute.com slash roots. You'll see the entry form there. You can hit subscribe to the YouTube channel from there and get an entry point that way. You can visit the Facebook page, get an entry point that way. You can also get points by watching the YouTube video that's linked up there. So be sure to head over to bluesguitarinstitute.com slash roots and get yourself entered to win one of these five copies of Fingerstyle Blues Roots.